Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Sunday the 26th of July 2015 and this is another instalment in the ongoing saga of Igor Costellus or Separated Society and the hunt for his Nibiru. Uh, I did a video yesterday um, showing some pictures of the constellation of Scorpio that uh, Igor tells us that uh, we will find uh, Nibiru in. I uh, took these photos last night with the Canon 60DA uh, DSLR camera and uh, I couldn't find any sign of Nibiru when I took these photos but apparently Igor can and he's just uploaded this video called Dazza the Cameraman and his Casual Ignorance. So let's have a listen to what Igor has to say and then we'll take a closer look at the photo. Hello everyone, I have some extra news to show you because Dazza the Cameraman did a video about my video how to locate Nibiru in the sky. So what the Daza does, he lives in New Zealand and he's got a sensitive ISO camera with low exposure, which I don't have. And I will show you now he take a picture of the Scorpio constellation and he said that there is nothing there, but there is. So let me show you what he ignored to see. Do you see that reddish light here? This one is much more reddish than anything else on this photo. And this one is what I'm talking about. You don't search anything but the light, reddish light here in the side of this constellation. So let me show you exactly what I mean. Uh, we can add some huge separation. And I will show you that this is reddish. So maybe minus 20. And 106. You can clearly see here that this part is red. This is red. If nothing is so red here in the sky but this part where the scorpion is. So it is true what I did said because this is not yet visible as it should be but it was I mean with, with uh, special equipment. So uh, Daza the Cameron uh, promised me that he will send me his original photos uh, via email for a few moments. Now it's uh, noon in Croatia and he went to sleep because it's uh, almost midnight there, no proper distance. And uh, as soon as I will get his uh, his original photo, I will show you and present you exactly that's what I'm talking about. It's true. So we got that reddish light here in the Scorpio constellation, and that's what I'm talking about. I didn't say that you see the planet or that you see the round circle or anything else, I said that you see the reddish light which is inside of this constellation. Thank you very much and stay tuned. This become very very interesting. So we've listened to what Igor has to say in its entirety. He's saying that he's not looking at a planet but he's looking at a red light. Uh, well if I adjust the hue on the image uh, I can change it to green and all sorts of colors as well. But indeed it does it is red and uh, what exactly are we looking at okay let's take a look at the image the original image here and um, i have indeed sent these images to igor i was on my way to bed but i'm still up and i have sent the images to igor so he will have them now he has the original images uh, full uh, full resolution and uh, full size um, but here is one of the images and uh, this is the area that he was pointing out which does indeed look a little bit redder than the surrounding areas. But we can also see that there's a lot of cloud in the sky which I pointed out when I originally uploaded these. So what are we looking at here? Well I've set up starry night so that we're looking at exactly the same area of sky. Now I did take these images at about 11pm last night. I've set the time so that the stars are rotated to match the orientation of, of the camera because the camera was not set up exactly straight. I took them very quickly. So what I'm going to do now is flick backwards and forwards between my photo, one of the photos, and Starry Night so that you can see Scorpio here is lined up perfectly with the image. So there is Scorpio. That's the end of the tail and we curl over the, the stinger as we come down through the body and the star here is Antares, which I pointed out in the other video. So let me flick backwards and forwards and you can see that those stars are lined up. So this red area is the area that we're focusing on. So what are we looking at there? 
Watch this area as I flick backwards and forwards to Starry Night. So you can see here that we're actually looking at the Milky Way center. And in fact, if I position my cursor there, you can see on the left hand side it says Milky Way center. We're looking into the center of our galaxy. And as I pointed out in my previous video, the Canon 60DA, the A stands for astrophotography, and it does not have the, um, the usual infrared cut filter that's installed on most uh, cameras. It has been left out in the factory so that we do not exclude the infrared band and hydrogen alpha uh, spectrum, and this is why we see a lot more red. Now, this is um, the, the red that's coming through is from the center of the Milky Way. In fact, you can see uh, just here the uh, Milky Way center there and then this little area of red here as well. Um, now if I zoom right in on this um, you can see that there's a lot of red there. That's obviously an insert that has been stitched into Starry Night to show the Milky Way. So what I'm going to do now is go to an image on Google and you can see a much clearer uh, image. Remember that the moon was out last night so I couldn't take a higher ISO setting. If we had had a nice dark clear night with no cloud and no moonlight I would have been able to take an image quite like this one and again you can see the red here from nebulae and uh, the, the dark area through here is what is called the dark rift. This is a lot of dust and, and, and so on through um, between the, the background stars that we see which gives this darkness here. And uh, if, if you're a New Zealander or you're familiar with the New Zealand Kiwi, the native bird, um, you might make out what we call the galactic Kiwi here. You can see the body of the bird, the head, the beak and the legs. Just as an aside, that's the galactic Kiwi. But this is what we're seeing in the image. Uh, it is the center of the Milky Way, the dark rift. And uh, the other images are there too. We have to remember that there's cloud in the image, and I'm going to step through the other images here. Um, let me see, there is the, the tail of the scorpion. So again, we're looking at this area here. And there is the tail of the scorpion there, so we're looking at this area here. And again, there is the tail, so we're looking at this area here. So all of this is just the center of the Milky Way. That is why it looks red, and it's exactly what we should expect. Um, Igor, you really need to familiarize yourself with what you're looking at in, in the sky, understand what it is that you're looking at, and maybe stop chasing clouds and shadows.